Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how you can actually view the full report of your son at the end of every term. Normally, when the boys go home for, uh, for holidays, you expect to see a report that contains the CBC analysis and the examination marks. So the CBC stands for competence-based curriculum. That's why we have the two uh, analyses here, CBC analysis and exam analysis. CBC analysis has competences that have been tested in each chapter of each subject this gentleman does in school. And for the purpose of this video, I'm using twice a Fabian favor. I hope he doesn't find it offensive anyway. Right, um, the exam analysis will show you how this gentleman has been performing in the different exams. So when you look at the average score, um, you're, you're seeing arrows down and then arrows moving up and then these arrows are simply uh, are simply showing if this gentleman declined compared in comparison with the previous examination. For example, this is uh, end of term two examinations out of uh, the ones out of 80. So when you look at the average of the examinations alone, this gentleman has 73% in term two end of examinations. But when you compare it with the end of term one examinations, the average score obtained is actually less by 13.2%. That is what this means. So it is a deviation. So this gentleman, uh, the negative 13.2 actually means he has declined by 13.2% in the average score in the examinations, right? In comparison with the previous one. So that is what we look here. And then uh, that's what we see here. And then when you look at the... Um, uh, the, the graph here it is simply showing you don't pay so much attention here and then uh, we have the subject performance so he has 84 87 15 percent this is all just analysis plus a graph there right now when i look at the cbc i expect to see things dealing with the competencies so when you look at the uh, the, the analysis below, we have the subject, the chapter, and the competence. So the competence is supposed to show you what this boy can do in that chapter. So the capability, is he able to, to do something that is being tested? For example, here in English, um, under chapter for celebration, the competence that was set for this gentleman to do is that the learner talks and writes about the different types and of celebrations and writes plans, invitations, and accounts. So the scores obtained reflect whether this gentleman has actually is or has actually or is capable of doing, uh, or is capable of writing, is capable of talking, is capable of describing the different types of celebrations and so on. So those are always entered out of three. That's why when you look at the 2.7, it is having, uh, that is 2.7 out of 3. Well, we included the raw max column to help parents easily understand what the 2.7 might actually be in terms of percentage. So the 2.7 in terms of percentage is 90%. You can then look at the generic skills and the facilitator remarks. The facilitator remarks are specific observation comments as we are teaching the young men. Then we have the generic skills. This is what we always see. It's like a trait that is in this young man that we always see as we are teaching him. And then we have the exam results out of 80, of course. Well, that is that with our analysis. Our interest for this video is to view the full report. So to view the full report, after logging in, this is normally the interface you see. Simply scroll to the end of this page. You will see view report form as a parent. But as an administrator, I'm able to see report forms such that I can view the current student. So when I tap on the view the report, it's going to load the report in another page with a bunch of uh, check uh, assess, uh, comments, uh, options that we have to check. So if you want to view a full report, make sure you tick all of these options. Show examination results, show summary report, show grade descriptor, show subject initials, house teacher. Make sure you check all of these options. So by checking all of these options, you're actually making the report card full. You want to see a complete report card. So by doing this, 
you will see everything that is to do with that report, including the summary. And this is going to help you understand your son's performance even better, including the CBC analysis, the examinations, and then the total out of 100. And then you can even look at the grading. And then if, you, if you're stuck somewhere, the same report has a key that can help you understand exactly what certain terms may mean. So this is now the full report. When I continue scrolling down, I'm viewing this on a phone. People who view it on a computer are going to see a better view because uh, they have a, very, a wider screen compared to the screen of a, of a phone. But that, that doesn't stop people using phones from viewing the report in its best, uh, in its best in its best view. So if I continue scrolling down, you'll see the CBC analysis. And when I continue scrolling to the left, I can actually see the examination marks out of 80. Okay. So if I continue scrolling down at the end of this uh, CBC, I expect to see the summary report. Now, the summary report is what will help me understand the performance of this gentleman even better. So the formative score is out of 20%. Those are the CBC scores converted out of 20%. So in English, there were two competencies tested. Both of those competencies out of 20 give us 16. Then we have the examination score out of 80, such that the 80 plus the 16 gives us the 84. And then we have a grade. So if you don't understand how the grading is done, because you checked all those options up there, there is actually a grade descriptor here. Okay? If you continue scrolling down, you'll actually see a grade descriptor. So the grade descriptor shows you exactly uh, in, which, uh, in which range does the mark fall out of 100. So everything that you need to understand on your report card is actually going to be shown to you so long as, as long as you check all those options all these options must be checked. That's how you, you are full report. So from this moment onwards, at the end of every time, when you've been alerted that the full report has been posted, kindly make sure as you view the reports, check all these boxes such that you have a full report. So people who are using phones, if you feel like downloading this, just about the report, you see the icon, uh, the button that says download. When you tap on it, you are able to download this as portrait. What you need to understand is that this downloads as a PDF file, and for you to be able to view it, you should have a PDF reader installed on your phone. Those who are using computers, we have browsers that are able to open PDFs for you. So how do I view what I've downloaded? I saw a notification that popped up after it was downloaded. That notification is still up there. So when I scroll down from the top of my phone, I'm able to see twice a Fabian term two results here. So when I tap on it, it's going to open using the default PDF reader installed on my phone. So I'm able to view a more detailed and uh, a more visually appealing report that I can scroll through and understand. So you need to take your time and understand this report as you scroll through. Well, I hope this video helps you. I thank you all for your patience with us. Have a beautiful time. Bye.